Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a mid-level priced review between these two beauty subscriptions. One is from Allure, the other is from Morphe. So if you want to see what are in these two beauty subscriptions, please stay tuned. The Allure Beauty Box is approximately $15, so let's take a quick peek and see what's in this beauty box. In the beauty box, they give you a nice little booklet to explain each of the products and how they can be used. We have a Freeze 24-7 Anti-Aging Eye Serum. Let's see what this product feels like and smells like. So the product doesn't have much of a smell to it. It is a gel consistency. And basically this is supposed to moisturize the under eye skin and make it look smoother and tighter for a few hours. I don't know about you, but I need this baby to hold up longer than a few hours. <laughs> Next from the Pure Line, we have a Blue Lotus Moisturizer. This is supposed to balance and hydrate your skin. This has a nice creamy feel to it. And it's got a really light, light scent. Kind of um, just a basic lotion scent, so it's not overwhelming. This That makes me happy. I don't like when products are over the top, heavy in perfumes. I like something light and airy. So this is, this is on the light side as far as smell goes, so that's good. We have a setting mist with rosemary. This is a setting spray. It says that it is a thicker spray and it does not spray um, even. It does say it has a bit of a tingling um, feeling as it cools. It has some rosemary in this. Um, it smells strongly of sunscreen and alcohol with a hint of mint and that fades quickly. It says that it will feel thick for about the first hour. So as far as marketing goes, I'm not sure that if you read that, that someone's gonna rush to pick up something that A, spits out at a different consistency from the bottle, um, B, has a haze for an hour, and um, C, smells highly of sunscreen and alcohol. Aside from that, on the positive side, it is a matte finish 3-in-1. It sets makeup, controls oil, and delivers UV protection. I'm, I am going to try this and see what kind of review I can give this to you next time we meet. In the box comes a Pixie Glow Tonic and on the back has a $2 off coupon from Target. So that's nice that they included a coupon also. This is a peach colored liquid. And let's see how this smells. This has a really nice light smell to it. It is um, supposed to remove dead skin cells from your face, excess oil, and makeup gunk. Really looking forward to trying this. Hopefully that it performs as well as the description. And again, it's got a light scent, so I really do like that also. They included a brush. This brush is for wet hair. Um, it, it says that this helps with wet hair and for it to undo knots without snagging as your hair is wet. Now my hair is not wet, but it does feel really good. So I always do look for these types of brushes to throw in my purse because I do like to um, brush my hair throughout the day. So this little guy is going to be going with me everywhere. And since I do travel a lot, I do stay in hotels and this little wet brush and go to just know it's already in my purse and ready to go is going to be fantastic. So very excited about this little guy. They do have included a Cargo Swimmables. This is a brownish eyeliner. I love the fact that they say that it's swimmable. I enjoy waterproof. Anything that stays put, this color is very nice and it goes on creamy. 
go running my finger through it, it did not smudge. Unlike the earlier um, other box that I tried in another video that said it was waterproof, the moment that I had stuck it on my hand and went through it, it smudged. So this looks like it's going to last up to its name. And I am going to try this actually tomorrow with the makeup look. So I will have another review for you very soon. And last but not least, they threw in some Garnier repairing shampoo and conditioner. Um, for me, I am a huge wind fan, so while I do appreciate the shampoos and conditioners, I will um, probably pass on those because I am a win junkie. So um, I do appreciate the thought of having these two, but I will be passing those along. So that's the end of our Allure Beauty Box. Really kind of excited. It is, it does have a lot of the small trial sizes such as Ipsy and Birch Box, but it's double the price. So if you like the trial sizes and you would like a better price, then I would say go to Ipsy or Birch Box as far as that goes. But I did like the products that they suggested to use because with the exception of the Garnier, Garnier um, shampoo and conditioner, these products are something that are newer on the market and it would be nice to try. As always, I typically find a lot of research either through Facebook, Instagram, etc. and this next subscription is no different. I found the Morphe brush subscription by someone posting on one of the, the beauty pages on Facebook. The Morphe brush subscription is $20 a month and you are supposed to get $30 worth of brushes. This was my first subscription to be received and so these brushes all with the exception of maybe one I don't have in my collection from Morphe. So I will use this or continue this subscription for a few months to see what kind of brushes that they do send. So in this last month's subscription um, we got the M403 which is this brush. So they give you a card to explain what you would use these brushes for. And this is a chisel brush. This is for the bags you don't want to check. Use the M403 for your AM eye cream. And I would not have thought about using a brush for my AM cream. So looking forward to using this brush and giving you some feedback on that. Next, we have the Pro Blender. This is the Morphe 437. It says use with your coffee and keys in one hand, and with your other hand, use the M43 to smear, spread smear on your bagel. So I'm not sure um, why they're giving me some cooking tips, but I um, I don't I don't cook, so. I won't use this to smear on my bagel, but I will use this to blend out my makeup on my face. On the serious side, looking forward to this. I do sometimes on a highly pigmented makeup end up putting too much on, so using this to lighten and blend will be really nice. So this was actually a wonderful surprise. Next on our Morphe list is the contour blender when the baby in the row beside you cries plug your ears with the m530 brush so if you ladies that get a little crazy on the contour you put your blush on and you realize oh my goodness we we have a battle of the colors this little guy will help blend those two together nicely and goodness knows, I'll probably use this one a lot. Lastly in the, the collection is the pencil brush. This is the Morphe 431. It says, write a love note to the cutie on the flight seat beside you with the M43 brush. I don't know who wrote this card or if they really ever fly, but there's never been a cutie sitting next to me unless it's my hubs, just saying. But on the serious side, pencil brushes are really nice to use if you are trying to do a smoky lower eye. 
I typically always like to smoke out my eye looks and, and go with some colors underneath. So this pencil brush is going to be very helpful. Again, I did not have these brushes. So the fact that Morphe starts out their subscription with brushes that you probably don't already have is a great way to keep you hooked to see what other kind of brushes that you're gonna gain that you don't already have in your daily collection. So way to go, Morphe. I want to thank you for taking the opportunity to be with me today as I reviewed both of the mid-level price subscriptions, the Allure Beauty Box and the Morphe Brush Collection. If you'd like to see more of those videos, please feel free to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. As always, if you've already subscribed or you have a friend that would enjoy my videos, please pass along my information to them. And I want to thank you and remind you to always make it a beautiful day.